good to be back in it and hear this sweet, sweet sound of the American V8. I have reached the end of the road and I just completely give up on this car. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. I go by the name of Solo. Welcome back to Solo Driven. It's been a minute since I've posted, so let's get right into it. I am officially throwing in the white towel with this car, but let me explain. This car has been nonetheless a struggle to get tuned, to get it right, and it's not whatsoever the tuner's fault. This car is having issues with fuel delivery. It's not delivering fuel, so it's causing a sputtering. And guys, I've hit the end of the road with trying to figure out why the car is doing that. I only have limited knowledge when it comes to mechanical things, so I have reached the end of the road and I just completely give up on this car. But, there is hope because we're taking it to 210 Performance. Well, that didn't go as planned. My battery's dead, I don't know why. But good thing I have my trusty Loftec Jumpstart. Guys, Loftec reached out to me a while back and I did a review on this product and it didn't disappoint. You can find this on Amazon. Check it out in the description below. Leave it up to me not to have the machine charged. life baby after many weeks of not driving this car I will say it does feel good to be back in it and hear this sweet sweet sound of the American V8 it, it sounds so much better in person I'll say that now about what's going on with the car I spoke about it in the last video that I uploaded if you haven't seen that video check it out right here so worst case scenario is that it's something major like the pumps gave out for whatever reason maybe they're defected I've taken this tank down already three times for whatever reason we still come back to this issue of the sputtering so yeah worst case scenario is that the pumps are just not working the way they should best case scenario is something like a small fuel leak or a vacuum leak i would be so relieved if it was something as small as a vacuum leak that way we can get this car tuned and get it back out on the road like i've been saying for like the past couple weeks and it's just so annoying anyways let's go ahead and go to 2 0 performance drop this car off and hopefully we hear some good news very, very soon. What a beautiful sight. Anyways guys, we're gonna let these guys do work. Hopefully they'll come back with some good news. Maybe it'll be something just very little and minor. Who knows, I'm just kinda in the air with it at this point. So, pray for me guys. Shout out to an o Performance. All right guys, so just like that, we're gonna leave the car there until they figure out what's going on with the car so we can head hopefully towards the right direction. I know that I've been saying that for the longest time and it's actually very frustrating, but that's the name of the game when it comes to upgrading cars to this level. And also considering the mileage and year of the car, complications are gonna come. Hopefully they can tell me something within a couple days and yeah, we'll take it from there. It's been a journey. The last stages of this car have been the most difficult, but we're not gonna complain. Worst case scenario, we have to figure something out. Best case scenario, we go back to dropping weekly videos, but I can't do anything with the car until it's back. 
Now a lot of people may be wondering what's up with the Camaro. I'm putting the Camaro on hold because the Cobra is requiring so much attention and money that I don't want to start doing anything to the Camaro and then not be able to afford what I need to do to the Cobra. The Cobra is the star of the channel and you know I spent two years trying to get that car right and ready for 700 horsepower clutch, differential, exhaust, header, all that stuff needed to be done before I added all this other stuff because I wanted to accomplish the 700 horsepower. After about 600 horsepower, that's when you need to upgrade your header. So anyways, that's where we're at with it. That's why I haven't done anything to the Camaro. But in the meantime, I am thinking about Showing you guys because it's been a while since you've been actually inside my home since I bought it And I've been doing some upgrades as well, too. I think last time y'all saw it. I had carpet in here and That's pretty much where I left off for those that do know though. They're kind of like the OG guys Y'all know that I was working on this wall right here this wall after a year is still the same so i'm looking to in the meantime get this wall i have an idea what i want to do with it because this is in fact a load bearing wall and i cannot take this wall down without spending thousands of dollars to get rid of it that's not what i want to do i got more important things that i would like to do with the money instead of trying to get completely get rid of this wall maybe further down the future we'll do that but right now doesn't make sense I'm trying to get some of these cars knocked out so that's what we're gonna do also i did replace this light a lot more modern and also the cabinets were kind of like a brownish color y'all not gonna be able to tell the difference but i'm going with a flat black look just to give it a more modern taste and also i did add the modern style handles. The countertops, I wanna go with a white marble kind of look. Don't know if I wanna do epoxy. It just really all depends on the cost. And add like a backsplash down here. And of course, some LEDs under the cabinets to make it and give it that nice modern look. The floor came out really nice, but I have not finished it. So the flooring needs to be done. I did order a brand new dining room light, which should show up today. So next video, maybe you'll see and I'll show you guys what I ordered. But yeah, guys, basically in the meantime, just work on the house a little bit. Um, my style, and you gotta excuse the mess here, but I don't like dining tables, not really a fan. I'd rather have like an island, you know, and have some stools around it. I've kind of adopted the idea of having a dining room table here, maybe a small modern one. And that's the reason why I bought that brand new light. So we're gonna be doing that, the dining table, the wall, and also I ordered this very nice TV, you know, floating stand. Has a nice LED, looks really beautiful at nighttime, especially with the lighting. Um, but yeah, I painted this wall black, and that's pretty much what I have done to the house so far. So let me know if this is something that you guys are interested in. House upgrades in the meantime. I'm going to try to incorporate a little bit of my actual personal life to give you something different aside from cars and when the cars are down I can still upload YouTube videos and I have a lot of things planned for 2023 to help with that. So you guys stay tuned. Thank you for rocking with me so far. I know that the last couple of months have been very unstable with video uploads, but you guys know why. And I'm not rich, so I don't have the money to take cars to the shop and have them handle everything for me. That way I have the cars here constantly so I can film content. But I hope you guys understand. But anyways guys, that's gonna end today's video. Hopefully we have some news with the Hades sooner than later. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button for my channel, and remember, be motivated, stay tripped.